Christian, I'm a data journalist. I think every journalism is kind of data journalism because if you want to create compelling stories that tell the truth in a place like Hungary where it's very important to tell the truth, every data piece has to have facts and facts are basically the data itself. I think the media landscape in Hungary is in very bad shape. There's not a big chance to get into television or radio because it's really mainly just dominated by governmental side. They can push any kind of information that they want to. Uh, I would say they push their own propaganda, they push their own agenda. So uh, people who are only uh, viewing or watching uh, these uh, state-owned media outlets might see uh, the world in an alternative view. So it's very important, for example, for independent outlets like Atlaso uh, to actually tell the truth and try to reach as many people as, they, as we can possibly reach. I think that uh, independent journalists have a very big responsibility now in Hungary. Um, because if not us, then who would tell the stories? A lot of things are not reported in state media. So the corruption of uh, certain political members or what uh, uh, luxurious items certain uh, people or people c uh, close to the government have purchased are not reported in the media. They are actually spending taxpayers' money for their luxurious lives. And this is not said in state media. This is mm, denied in state media also. Uh, uh, and, and the people has to know where their money goes. So the, the slogan actually for Atlet, so is to follow the, the route of the tax money. There's too much governmental control in a lot of outlets. Most of the uh, regional newspapers are owned by the same company which is connected to the government uh, and it's a very difficult thing to change. If there's no change in, gov in the government, there cannot be an easy change in the connection to all of these media outlets. Hungary will have its parliamentary election this year, in a few days, and previously to this there was an oppositional pre-election last year. Uh, and what's interesting about, again, about the state media's reporting on certain situations is that there was not n no big coverage of, of the pre-elections in, in state media, even though it's a very important thing because now all of the uh, oppositional parties joining forces uh, to start as a big coalition against the ruling government, against Fidesz. Uh, even though that there might be a change uh, for the better, I don't think that the media landscape would change that much. So the companies that own the state media would still exist, even, even if Fidesz wouldn't have two-thirds majority, which is uh, giving them uh, the power to, to create laws. Maybe politicians, oppositional politicians in the parliament would have a bigger voice. Uh, um, and maybe they might be able to change the media sooner or later, but I don't think uh, uh, that there would be an immediate change.